I see from a chart included in the Education Week article that Vermont school bureaucrats extract $6,500 for each student who sits in their spanking new schools. That's $162 a week per child. How is it that the private schools of the United States provide a satisfactory level of service for a national average of only $3,000 a kid, about $58 a week per child, or that parochial schools do it for $2,300, $44 a week per child, or that home schools do it for between $500 and $1,000, a mere 10 or 20 bucks a week. How is that? And don't answer, allow me, because I've got the microphone. <laughs> Those other named entities don't have to support a vast pyramid of political jobs. They value learning, but they don't make the mistake of overvaluing teaching or expertise, and they understand perhaps instinctively, that transferring responsibility from children, parents, and communities to legions of certified agents of the state destroys the value base of human life. And the earlier discussion of what mechanism might possibly call, uh, cause the diminution of family size uh, with the increase of uh, government schooling it seems to me, having spent 30 years inside those places, with wealthy white kids as well as poor black kids and all the degrees in between, it's because schools systematically remove the appetite for responsibility. They will not allow it to survive. And certainly anyone contemplating having a child uh, who has the slightest amount of uh, ability to cast his mind into the future, knows that there's going to be an awful lot of responsibility. I mean, we have 45 million children being drilled in being irresponsible, unless you consider doing your homework a responsibility, because I don't. I think that's a phony responsibility. The infinitely articulated ladder of scientific school keeping, yes, I use the word sarcastically, but schools of pedagogy at the University of Chicago or at uh, uh, Johns Hopkins or Wisconsin or Stanford would not use scientific pedagogy sarcastically, of which you've just seen the lower rungs down in Benson, Vermont lies squarely at the heart of dysfunctional American schooling today, and it surely lies at the heart of the dysfunctional American family. Scientific schooling does not dare allow the citizens of Benson to work out their educational destinies for themselves. They must pay and pay for the privilege of having the state legally commandeer their children and co-rear them as the state sees fit. And I will predict to you now that inside of 10 years, that what has happened in Oklahoma City and in with derailed trains and at the World Trade Center, you're gonna see everywhere because we're choking to death in 50 states of the union and it's no longer tolerable and it's no longer a matter to be debated.